now we need to send the information to our PHP file so first of all user need to fill all the information at least so that you can use their required in each input field uh, just uh, paste it to everywhere like uh, in email address uh, username and in mobile and the address was okay address password and confirm password okay just refresh the page now user need to fill all the information at least and after inserting all the information we need to send the information using using ajax function to per php so we can directly use the ajax function that is already available then use the and we can access the information by using id of the form that is form registration and dot on and we just will submit the form it will execute the function and it will come inside this and also we need to put our return here and false now let's see and user fill information and after password is set it the alert is not coming because there somehow it is not hatching the form registration okay we used here id sorry we used a hash so just remove this now it should work let's see using password is where again it is not working because form registration here form registration here okay we use ajax dollar dot ajax on some okay we don't need to see here ajax just use the icon now it should work now just to fill the information via password and it's working now we need to access all the information and just send this information to php and and here we have to use the ajax function and inside the ajax function we has to send few parameter that is first one url the url of the php file and it can be inside our ajax folder and inside ajax we, we may have a file called register.php and the another parameter can be i the it should, can be post and then the information and we can access the information like this id dot this three lines function it will access all the information and then it will store the information here then after we need to execute the function to execute it we can call function and after this we will receive a output from this operation and we can use the information here like if the result uh, if if the result equal to equal to okay we can say one or we can try to say one okay that's inside one okay then we can print uh, alert and we can say alert 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 okay next station next station success otherwise it's uh, we can see the we can update the error like uh, something went wrong and when it will be one then it will see the register will be success otherwise it will be show an error first of all we need to create the register file inside our ajax folder so just open the ajax folder then create a file called register.php and also you need to okay reconnect connecting 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 
now i need to create it again and it is created and let's update the name here it is register.php and and also open our old file that is check valid okay we can use the information from here just paste it here and it's done and if we have at least a uh, username and uh, then he can come to inside and to uh, he can print one otherwise it will equal zero okay now if it will one then it will be registration success otherwise it will show something went wrong and it's done let's see as you can see it is refreshing it means we should have something some error now here you can see it says unexpected error and that is here okay we have an error here here we cannot use this code just check it again now do it again let's see if any error come this time okay again we have another error it is saying unexpected token again and again okay we have another error here it is here okay let's do it again uh, information you can make up your password okay something went wrong it means we have and another error and it what is this but we don't have an error here so it can be here so so i will not output the result so that we can add the exact error here okay result now just output this that we can access the error okay it is one okay 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 so it is not a string it is an integer so that's why we are outside the if so it should be an, an integer let's do it again now this time hesitation success we have done and also we need to put a return false here so that the page should not uh, refresh it should be stay on this page let's see again 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 and as you can see this time is a success